Hey, this is Adam Barber. The scenery behind me is not digital. It's actually that beautiful uh, out here on Cane Creek today. I'm down at my in-laws, or soon to be in-laws, doing some work outside, so I wanted to stop and talk to you. You know, things like this, they look like they're almost too good to be true, you know, but you have to stop and take a look at them and find out that they're real. You know, it's like the gospel message. That's almost too good to be true. It sounds like it's too good to be true that someone, a perfect man, the Lord Jesus Christ, took the punishment in our place for all of our sins, past, present, and future, and that when he was raised from the dead, we were raised from the dead with him. And his perfect righteousness, his perfect record before God was given to us and put to our account. That sounds too good to be true. But when you really start studying out the word of God, you find that that is true. That's exactly what he has said. You know, and often... What religion teaches versus what God has taught, what God has revealed to us in his word, um, they don't really match up. They don't line up. You know, for instance, religion will teach you that you have to work for your salvation. You have to work in order to be saved. But God teaches us in his word that to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. Or uh, religion may teach you something like, well, we know that you're saved by grace, but you have to work to keep it. You have to work to stay in the faith, to prove yourself worthy of the gift that was given to you. But scripture teaches that he who hath begun a good work in you will complete it unto the day of Christ Jesus. Or my favorite one that I love to hear is that's just your sin nature, or that's just the old man. But God says in his word, word that, knowing that knowing that we are crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, henceforth that we might not serve sin. Or that I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ liveth in me. And the life that I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God that loved me and gave himself for me. So just because something sounds spiritual or even sounds scriptural, it doesn't mean that it always matches up with what God has, has revealed to us in his word. Uh, but like anything else, don't take my word for it. Study these things out for yourself. Look at them in the Word of God. Look at those verses in their context. So see what's, see the, the verses that are surrounding that and see what's being taught. Look at the other verses that are talking about the same thing. And you'll see that most of the time what people are telling you is not actually what God has said to us. So think on these things. Study up on these things. Never take anyone's word for it. Look at it for yourself.